Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was important that uh, that we had another good performance this week. You know, I, I didn't want us to fall into the trap of. You know, we have a good performance last week and then we, we drop our standards this week and uh, we've seen that happen in the past this season with us and uh, you know, I've spoke to the players and the challenge that we have now is that we've got to be better each week. You know, we've got to be better each week and, and today, don't get me wrong, there's still some areas in our game we had to fix up. You know, I don't think we were as dominant as we were last week. I didn't feel we had the same control over the game that we did last week against Workington, but we still were very good in a number of areas. Um, you know, I think it's pretty plain to see that the Batley pack were a lot more physical, harder to handle than the Workington pack last week. And I thought we, we did struggle at times with them defensively. You know, they did make some inroads there and they got a few offloads away. And uh, But I thought our endeavour and our tenacity defensively and our scramble at times, you know, really was, was excellent. You know, and to, to concede only four points in the second half defensively when they did have at, at times a lot of possession uh, off the back of some of the, uh, the penalties that were given away, which Again, I put a question mark. I thought we were, thought we were punished a bit in the penalty count. Um, I'm not saying it was; they were all not penalties, but I felt some of them um, could have gone the other way in terms of when we had the ball. You know what I mean? I, I felt that Batley weren't really getting penalised for for making some of the same infringements, um, which was a bit disappointing. But, but uh, yeah, I, I, I certainly uh, felt defensively at times. We, yeah, we, we we were hurt a little bit in the middle, but. Um, but again, for me, the, the performance uh, overall was, was, was outstanding and to put 50 points again on another team uh, is a great effort and some of our attacking play is really coming to the fore now. It's really starting to click. I think the two halfbacks uh, have now are starting to get what I've been asking of them and they're starting to understand and we're, we're now starting to build pressure on teams um, you know, and, and we're starting to create a lot more opportunities. I thought Sean Morris today at fullback was outstanding. Um, some of the, the, the play that he interjected himself into the line out the back and, and he, some of his support play and the way he finished some of them tries off today was nothing short of sensational and um, I'm really pleased for Sean because it's been a tough year for him in terms of he's been biding his time, biding his time and he's had a great attitude. He's been so professional uh, in how he's behaved uh, within the group throughout the season because he's had very little opportunity and, and now he's got his opportunity and chance now at the back end of the season and he's, and he's proving that uh, what obviously we thought of him originally when we brought him in, that he has got some potential there and some ability there to to, to, to work with. So um, I'm really pleased for him and, and his performance today. Uh, Glenn Riley again I thought was great for his up front. I thought he really did a great job at laying the platform for his early doors. Um, you know, again he had another big performance and the two halfbacks, Will Bartow and Joe Keys once again, I thought were, were were great in terms of getting us around. There was parts in the game where we just lost our way a little bit. Spoke to the halves about that at half time, and um, I just felt, but I felt for large parts of the game, you know, the the kicking game and their our outcomes to end the sets were, were good. And, um, and like I said, some of the stuff, some of the attacking shape we played with the ball, um, I thought was 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 great to watch. And we scored some fantastic tries again. So overall, very very pleased with um, with some of the uh, the stuff that we saw today from us. What's Sean's position for next season? Uh, at this stage, he hasn't been offered a contract, um, but I may have to rethink that. <laughs> you know, I mean, the problem is that the face is of, and I spoke to Sean about this when, when I spoke to him, and, and it was about. I needed to strengthen other areas within the team. You know, I felt from an outside back point of view, we've been, they've been pretty consistent and pretty good for most of the season. And I felt there's been other areas of the team we've needed to strengthen. So with the money that I had remaining within the cap, because you've got to remember we had a lot of players on two-year deals. So the money that I've had left to spend, I've had to try and invest into other areas to strengthen. So um, it, which made me feel that I may fall a bit short in terms of being able to retain someone like Sean. But um, I've still got another couple of signings to make. And, and if I can get them for the right price, I guess, um, it may leave uh, a little bit of a, a gap there for us to still be able to retain Sean. So, you know, we'll just have to have a look at it and, and weigh it up. Yeah. What's the news on Will Bartow? Is it too early? He popped his shoulder out. <coughs> um, so, obviously, in that collision, which, uh, again, I, I, I don't know how he was just sim bin for that. I, I felt the player should have been sent off. Um, he did sit left left the field in terms to make the tackle you know both feet left the ground and he, he just took Will's head off there as he was going to finish that try and uh, that for me is you know it's a send off offence but the referee deemed it to be just a yellow card but again it's that's his decision and what he thought and he saw but um, you know but yeah in terms of Will uh, his shoulder popped out but luckily though uh, the physio was able to pop it back in which is good so it's probably going to be very doubtful for next week, um, but potentially we may he may be right for the semi-final in two weeks' time when we go to Dewsbury. But um, yeah, hopefully he's back for next week. But you never know. But I, 
at this stage, I think it'd be doubtful. He was rather glum when he came off. Yeah, disappointed, I think, you know, because, like you said, it's been a tough year for him in terms of he's missed virtually all pre-season, the whole season virtually, So, and he's literally started to find some form in the last couple of weeks, and I think he knows that, and I think he'll be just disappointed now that he's had a, another bit of a setback. I just hope it's not too big of a setback for him, and I hope he, he will be back on the field sooner rather than later, you know.